Hi, my name is Anda Bufi. I'm 29 years old and I come from Albania. Now I live in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, basically, I left Albania in the year 2016. I was uh, 26 years old and this was as a result, so to speak, of a lifelong dream to move abroad. So I since at an early age we kind of traveled a lot with my family and i was able to see different cultures and different places so always had this desire in me to also maybe myself live abroad one day and yeah this finally happened uh, this was also so the main the main reason that was always there was this kind of curiosity for other cultures and other places. But then uh, after finishing my studies in Albania and also working there for a couple of years, there were also some difficulties arising in the in my living that um, by seeing what's going on in other countries, then you start feeling like maybe moving, you will have another other chances and some stuff will get better. So it was also about, um, because in Albania I was working and I didn't feel like I was earning enough because I didn't have, um, uh, so at, at the age of 26, I was still living with my parents, which, which is, so to speak, uh, it's not an uncommon thing in Albania, but for me it was something that I wanted to change. And I realized that even though I studied architecture and I was working in a nice position in a good office, still what I was earning didn't seem to be enough for me to at least move into my own place. And then also like an underlying theme is cultural habits, mentality in Albania. It always feels like you have your friends and people you get along with, but then the rest, um, there are habits there and ways of thinking Then you don't really feel like they represent you. And that's how my migration experience started. And uh, I can say it has been really nice for me till now. I've been living in Hamburg for four years. I came here to study at first. I did a master's program at the Hafez City University. And yeah, I can say it was the best experience, one of the best experiences in my life. And I enjoyed my time a lot. I think it was also one of the best decisions uh, I took. Of course, there are uh, tough moments because you're a foreigner, you're living in a country where at first I didn't speak the language very well. I'm still not 100%, but at least I get by. And of course, being alone, the closest person I had here that I knew was my sister who was living in Berlin, which is like three hours away. And yeah, there were tough moments and some challenges. And also you grow and change as a person. So. All in all, in the end, I could say it's a very, very positive experience that has helped me a lot. And yeah, everything seems to work out in the end. Um, my life here is quite enjoyable, <laughs> I would say. Um, yeah, so um, I studied here, which was really nice because it was an international environment so besides being in a new country and experiencing it all for the first time uh, and so on for yourself you are part of a group who are also having the same experience as you and that was amazing um, because then we were connected through this uh, new experience that we were having and that was really amazing also being so additionally to being in a new, in a new place you are you with people who are from all around the world you are learning something new and i guess this um like this thing wouldn't have happened in Albania like there is no chance because we also don't offer international programs uh so i quite enjoyed that and then i started working uh in different offices now I also just started a new job in a new office, which I enjoy a lot. And uh, I studied architecture and now I work as an architect. I really enjoy what I do. I like the environment. I like all the chances and the options you get from stuff like 
um, of an everyday life, just the places you can go, the art scene, the architectural scene, that this stuff are also important for me, what I see around in the city and um, yeah, in overall. Uh, of course, there's uh, differences to Albania and uh, yeah, I guess I found here all the things that I thought would be. There were no <laughs> surprises, so to speak. Um, I miss my family and friends. Of course, like this is always a part that you are able, never able to feel, so to speak, because um, yeah, no matter the, no matter how many friends you have and like close people to you, still it's never gonna be the same. And that's the only thing that is going to remain a constant uh, that let's say any other thing cannot feel. But I guess this is like there's a how to say uh, a challenge or a compromise in everybody's life. And this is, so to speak, the one I, I chose and who knows, maybe in the future, uh, for the moment, I'm not really looking to go back to Albania. Uh, maybe, let's say, in the age that I am now, and soon I would maybe do it for one year, like as a gap year or six months, and just go there without, like a tourist almost, because, yeah, living in Albania as a tourist, I found out when I was visiting this last year, is actually pretty nice, like good food, uh, nice weather, family, friends, uh, amazing um, coastline and so on. Uh, but I wouldn't uh, be able to do it for more than that. I'm kind of very used to my life here now. And uh, my overall living conditions, I can say, are way better. Now I have my own place. I don't ask my parents for help anymore, which is something that always burdened me, so to speak, which is very common in Albania that parents support you through um, a late age, so to speak. And most of the people don't have a problem with it, but I don't know why I had a problem with it. <laughs> and then I set out to do my own thing. So yeah, you could say that financial conditions are better and more comfortable for me. And um, in overall, you can see the difference also in things like that you don't, also in the things you do every day, like how things work, um, trains are on time, public transport, uh, life is overall easy. People who come from Albania can <laughs> maybe understand me and relate better to these thoughts. Or every time you have to deal with something, um, with the government, like uh, being a foreigner, of course, I have to do that a lot. And everything is always running smoothly. Of course, people talk about German bureaucracy, but in the end, everyone is very helpful. Everyone is trying to help you out. And um, yeah, it's quite different, I would say, from Albania. And I could, uh, like for me, it was also at, at the study program, because I study here and also in Albania and yeah, the, the whole the level of communication is different. Uh, people are more prone to just stick to doing their job and this way everyone does the job and things run smoothly. For example, in, during my studies in Albania it was a bit chaotic. The, the basic thing that's a time schedule, we really had problems with that and you kind of get used to it and you are, you. And I'm not being aware of what's going on, but then when you see something different, you realize that, yeah, there's a lot of things that are not, that are not going well. And yeah, in general, I also would say uh, in the end, I what I like here is an open-minded society. And maybe that a bit <laughs> can sound a bit uh, harsh against my uh, home country but um, yeah there are many things in the way of living in Albania and 
habits that people have that I don't really didn't really relate to. But still, it remains my home country, and I actually have it in the back of my head that maybe I could move back. But when I'm already in my sixties, <laughs> I've lived my life, and I just want to settle down and be somewhere with friends and uh, people who speak the same language. Because yeah, also language is kind of important. So yeah, the option is there, and who knows. <laughs>